This is a video <clears throat> about feeding dubia roaches. Dubia roaches are really very easy to feed. What they need is water crystals, fresh fruits and vegetables. What I have in there is a little bit of baby food, which is more a treat than anything else, and some dry food that I put together. The main source of food for your dubia roaches should be fresh fruits and vegetables. Any, anything that you get that's packaged dry food, like the food that's there, <clears throat> It can work and some of it may be quality food but if you're like for instance feeding your dubia roaches to a bearded dragon you want to feed the dubia roaches everything that you want your bearded dragon to eat so if they need to eat kale you want to give them kale um, any type of greens collard greens uh, stuff like that Fresh fruits and vegetables like oranges, apples, bananas. Uh, we do have a, an entire list of all the different kinds of foods that you can feed your dubia roaches. But as a general rule, what I always suggest is to go online, see what your particular animal needs, and feed them that. Dubia roaches are packed with protein and calcium and all of that stuff like that so uh, you don't need to be concerned with feeding your dubia roaches that because they are you know they have quite a bit of that in them already but what you do want to do is you want to gut load them with very fresh vegetables and very fresh fruit we missed the uh, fruits and vegetables every day before we give them to the dubia roaches so the water crystals are not actually necessary but um we you know these these are um, insects that we're going to be given to our pet so we want to make sure that they have absolutely everything they want when they want it so there's always clean water available always fresh fruits and vegetables available there is dry chow always available to them and every other day or so I'll give them a little bit of baby food as a treat. We do put um, pieces of orange in and they will go through an entire slice or two of orange in just one day. As a matter of fact all of the food that you're looking at right here this will all be completely gone by tomorrow. Um, a lot of people are afraid to keep dubia roaches because they're afraid that the dubia roaches might get out of their enclosure. Well, I can guarantee you that I'm not having any problems with the dubia roaches getting out. What I have is a big, like 60 or 70 gallon uh, tote. And then on the tote at the top, I put a layer of uh, tape, just regular packing tape. But I guess that if you have a container with smooth sides, that the dubia roaches can climb out. I mean, without smooth sides, they can climb out. But if you get one that's smooth sided, and you also put the uh, packing tape on it, then your dubia roaches will not be able to escape their enclosure. But this video is about feeding them. I think that the most important thing is to understand that your roaches being healthy is going to reflect on your pet. So we treat our dubia roaches like they are pets. Um, and actually they probably eat sometimes better than we do because it's always available. Now you can see that across the food, now this, the dubias have been eaten for probably about 20 minutes now, but a little, just a little while ago, the the greens and the fruits and vegetables were completely covered and there was fewer that were eating the dry food even though there is some eating it now but you can see like that big female right there is eating quite a bit of the baby food 
you know you want to treat them good you want to give them you know stuff that's a little bit more interesting even though that they're only uh, feeder insects um, keeping them happy is going to keep your colony happy and healthy and you definitely want to have a healthy colony so don't be afraid to you know give them things that they like and not just things that they want in this colony you can see right in the center of the screen there's a baby there's a bunch of nymphs right there there's one big female right there and there's another big female there the males are not out right now um, this particular colony is is definitely growing and it's growing fast um, as long as you pay attention to what they need like their temperature uh, humidity they don't need to be too humid because number one you don't want any of the fruits and vegetables to um, get mold on them so you have to be careful about mold but right now we're keeping our dubia container at about 85 to 95 uh, somewhere right between there it varies between um, and the water crystals actually is enough to keep it hydrated enough so that they can uh, shed their skins I would have to say that this is a very happy colony um, and they're actually kind of fun to have. I get to watch all the babies as they're growing up and you know just watching them sometimes can be very interesting. The uh, bearded dragon that we have absolutely loves these. Um, also loves crickets but the dubias I think that they, the dragon likes the dubias better they're definitely meatier um, the shell to meat ratio is definitely higher and the nutritional value between dubias and crickets is quite a big quite a big difference and the same with um, mealworms which are not actually supposed to feed to dragons or that's what I've heard um, and the super worms um, these these are just absolutely great feeders to have and in spite of how most people feel about uh, roaches or the word roach uh, these are really not a problem to keep they're easy to manage and maintain a just I just have absolutely no trouble with these whatsoever. They never escape. Uh, crickets, I've actually been bit by crickets before. And even though it's not terrible, uh, when I pick up even some of these big uh, male and females, like the two right there, they absolutely never bite. They never bite. They never get out of their enclosure. Um, they're just really easy to maintain and handle well that's about it for the video i hope you enjoy enjoy the video um if you did like it i'm sure i'll be updating this colony and um have a great day thanks for watching bye